Hello space fans and welcome to Your Sky Tonight for July 24th, 2017. My name is Tony Darnell from DeepAstronomy.Space. Well space fans, tonight just after sunset we have got a lot of things to look at. At 9.02 p.m., while the sun has set below the horizon and we can still see its glow from the west, up begins, we begin to see the International Space Station rising above the treetops. And I've told you about this on Saturday, uh, that the for the rest of July, the International Space Station will be visible uh, in certain days for the rest of this month. And I also told you how to view it. But tonight promises to be an even better night to see it than on Saturday, because according to spotthestation.nasa.gov, it will be traveling almost directly overhead for many northern latitudes. So that promises to be very exciting, and we can see it begin to rise just after sunset at 9.02 p.m. Also very low in the eastern sky, or in the western sky, you will also see the planet Mercury bathed in the glow of the sunset. It will, be, it will appear as a bright planet or a bright dot that does not twinkle. And that will be the planet Mercury. And we can only see the inner planets, Mercury and Venus, during either sunrise or sunset. But there's another curious thing you can do when there are at least two, and, and an even better if there are three planets visible in the evening sky. If you start with the planet Mercury and then draw an arc to the planet Jupiter, which is the brightest dot in the southwestern sky, and then continue that arc over to Saturn, which is in the southeastern sky, you begin to see that they follow along roughly in a line. And that line is called the ecliptic. And it's described as the path that the sun and the moon follow as it goes across the sky. But it's also roughly the plane of the solar system. All of the planets in our solar system follow more or less along this line across the sky. They rise in the east and they set in the west. So if you're ever facing south and you see a very bright dot that's not twinkling and it follows roughly along this line, then that is probably a planet. And the all of the planets in the solar system follow along this arc. Now, as the Earth goes around the Sun, the ecliptic gets higher and lower in the sky. It's at its highest in the summer months on the northern hemisphere, and it is at its lowest in the winter months in the northern hemisphere. And all of that is reversed in the southern hemisphere. So I wanted to point that out to you tonight because there's so many things to see in the night sky just after sunset. Also, as we at about 9.04 p.m., the International Space Station will get very close to the planet Jupiter. So with a pair of binoculars, things are getting quite exciting just after sunset this evening. Well, that's it for tonight, space fans. Thank you all for listening. And as always, keep looking up.